Hi everyone, welcome in. I am Maggie of maggiesbliss.com and I'm here for a quick, we'll see how quick, but I'm gonna try for quick, <laughs> uh, oracle reading for the collective right now. And oh yeah, we need this. <laughs> Let's burn some sage, clear the space, clear the ickies, call your energy into present time right now so we can really truly hear the messages that are coming through right now. Um, Ooh, a little virtual smudge for you. White sage, you know, antibacterial, antimicrobial. <sighs> Cleanses, clears the energies, the lower vibrational energies out of your space. Uh, someone had asked me a question recently. Is it true that you have to leave your window open when you're uh, burning sage to let all the lower vibrational icky crap out? Yes. <laughs> open your window. Even if it's chilly out, just open it for, you know, um, a crack or whatever just to uh, help that energy fly out with the smoke. Um, but obviously it will still do its job if your windows are shut. There's drafty houses, it'll find its way out. But um, along with your intention, which is very powerful, that's um, gonna help. <clears throat> when you're clearing your home, your energies, everything. And right now, because of all the stuff that's happening around here, um, it's been pretty <laughs> insane. Uh, have Has anyone else had some uh, tough challenges lately? Um, <laughs> I pulled from two decks uh, today. I pulled from uh, the Shaman's Dream that I did last time um, with Colette Baron reed and uh, Alberto Violdo. And then I also have the Lemurian Star, Star Child Oracle with me today. So where are those cards? Oh my gosh, did I move them? I had to get up for a second. I think I lost the, the star cards. Where'd they go? Oh no. I, I'm gonna have to go by memory for this for, for those three cards. Um, unless I see them while I'm talking to you guys, I'm gonna keep looking out, looking out for them. I'm making sure I didn't put them back in the deck. Oh, <laughs> I did. <laughs> I was cleaning up. <laughs> All right, so um, now we have those three cards. Cool. So, as you know, next week is the new moon on the 14th, so Friday. We're going to have the Ring of Fire next week. So, it's been, in, the energy has just been pushing me to come on with you guys and let you know that everyone's going through wicked challenges right now. It's shadow season anyway, and we're all... Um, uh, always trying to get through that anyway every year. It's just a natural time, September, October, to get through the ache, the lower crap that's within us. So it, we have to remember <sighs> we're human. We wouldn't be here if we had it all figured out. Now we're figuring it out. This is our school, so we're going to make this happen. Now, that being said, um, a lot of people are going through physical challenges, um, just anything that they actually need to work on to heal. And um, some of it is uh, seemingly um, like it's just our boundaries need to be proper, right? Because this ring of fire new moon is powerful. Whenever we have an eclipse, this is a full, this is a total lunar, total solar eclipse. We're going into the eclipse window realm for that and the lunar eclipse coming up. The um, energies of eclipses reveal truths to you that have been previously hidden. So, what is that? That could be epiphanies that you've even hidden from yourself. That could be shit that other people have been doing or saying or feeling and you didn't know. And then all of a sudden, you know. <laughs> like, they hit you with something that occurred and, and, and um, you're just in shock. Uh, for a moment, but then you right, depending on what it is, it helps you integrate the like the true truth. Oh, hello from Massachusetts. Hi, Gina. <laughs> I am missing um, New England for autumn. I love the trees, the colors. So, you know, I'm watching all the Hallmark movies that have it and anything that has autumn, all like the right practical magic is gonna uh, be streamed soon. And <laughs> all the autumn, <laughs> all the Halloween. Hi, Martha. I hope you're feeling better and you're healing. I'm still sending healing energies to you and your back and all the crazy. So that's what's been happening is a lot of people are being called up to do this deep healing and that 
often is a physical issue in our body and that sucks but we have to get through the things so oh i'm so glad it's getting beautiful there gina um with regard to the ring of fire and the uh eclipses that are happening it's making you see the see the hidden and start to process do the work from that um so i just wanted to write down uh to share the notes that i um was taking when i was on bell rock um as I was saying, harsher lessons have occurred and the integration of those lessons will follow. Um, the ring of fire eclipse is bringing truths that were previously hidden to yourself and from others. So it could be that something's going to pop out of you <laughs> and you're going to be like, I don't mean to say that, <laughs> but the truth is out. Uh, it's like, it, it's almost like you can't help it. Um, but also it's harsher. And sometimes when you say something and all of a sudden you're like, Oh, I didn't mean to be like that. So like harsh and blunt or whatever, like you wanted to soften the blow a little. And sometimes <laughs> this is happening for a reason, right? Our eclipses and we're being, um, you know, f not forced per se, but just to share the truth within you. We're being called and encouraged and pulled. <laughs> share that truth. And if you're not going to do it and you haven't done it yet, now's the time. Let it go. Because in the end, we're all one and we're all connected and we're all going to be in this together when we cross over and while we're here. So let's see if we can do the best that we can, knowing that um, some of the truths that are coming up are pretty crappy, um, like uh, perhaps not setting proper boundaries, right? But they're coming up. And I say that over and over again because someone needs to hear this, right? Those boundaries within you need to be set. So I've been being um, hit in the face uh with people that are manipulative, gaslighting, uh, they don't tell the truth, they're not ethical, they're practicing their business improperly and they're being very rude to their customers and still expecting your, their customers to go above and beyond to something that makes no sense. And it's gaslighting, it's manipulation, it's not ethical and, and like they're maybe doing things to say, oh my gosh, I really, and I kind of felt like I needed to switch and go somewhere else, go to someone else for whatever the thing was. And then it's like in your face, like, oh crap, now I really have to, like, I don't have a choice now, it has to happen. And um, I've prepped for some of those things that have come up, so that's cool. But also seeing the truth, seeing people for who they are and seeing some of the things that they didn't show you before and then saying, oh wow, you're actually, I read that all wrong and now it's like really a cool thing that they're showing you, right? About them, about whatever the experience situation is. So then you can be like, shoot and you know do some clearing work on how what you thought was the thing and it wasn't who knows right so truths they're going to be shared they're going to be harsh in your face and you're going to be harsh and in other people's faces so do your best to first think before speaking i've had a few like oh i should have been a little you know softer on that one is true but i should have been softer um so that being said um also, what do you need to eclipse now in your life? Um, what about your past? Can you finally learn from and let go of? So these eclipses are portals for truth. Um, communications are coming out harsher, like I said, and um, but it's it's all like true. So there's my notes. Now, first card that comes up from the shaman deck is walking tree, um, reconciliations, or wailing tree, so not walking tree. <laughs> Wailing tree, it's a 59 card, which reduces to 14, which again reduces to five in numerology, which is transformation, transmutation, shifts and changes occurring. It makes so much sense right now, right? And especially for the next week, heading into that eclipse. Take it easy. Do your best to breathe. Do a lot of energy shaking, please. Energy shaking. It sh the, the crap that you're trying to process out of your body and you've done like, let's say you've done all like, there's a lot of energy work, but you haven't done the physical movement to let it go. Now, if you can't move your body, you're in pain, 
<laughs> obviously do it lightly and like or just intend that you're doing it until you're able to move your body and shake it like you start with your arms so this is something we do in qigong you you like the classes you shake your left arm real good shake your right arm real good shake them both at the same time then shake a leg then shake both legs jump up and down shake your body shake your hips shake, i can't do it while i'm on camera because you're too close to me but you shake your whole body and it's powerful. You do this when you're having a lot of Kundalini awakening symptoms to release the crap. It's been brought to the surface and now you're going to shake it out, dance around the room, all that, like get it out. And then, then you're fresh. You're renewed. Wailing tree. Uh, like I said, it's five in numerology for shifts and change, but five is also abundance, prosperity. So let's try and be aware of that. Also, this is so funny. I had a vision today that of what I'm going to do for next week for the um, Ring of Fire. I am um, going to do a journey that has to do with, of course, autumn because, yeah, <laughs> the autumn trees. But the vision was gold. There was gold around leaves. So that's what I'm seeing right now in here. Wailing tree. My vision also included the tree of life. We're all connected. And when you're hurting, we're hurting. When the trees in nature are hurting, we're hurting. We're, we work in symbiotic relationship with each other. And this tree is just, get it out. If you have to cry, don't hold it back, cry. If writing and journaling is the way to get it out for you, do that. If pressing your hands to the earth, your feet to the earth, barefoot, please, 10 minutes a day, every day, all the time, ground, ground, ground powerful you're gonna feel it in your body it's healing um <laughs> anti-inflammatory too um <laughs> there's so many benefits but please do that get outside and release it so allow yourself to release those emotions this one is saying reconciliations and it just reminds me so much about forgiveness forgiving those people that have wronged you i just mentioned some stupid crap like gaslighting manipulation not telling the truth now's the time where the truth's coming out anyway so we're gonna see it and we're going to process it and we're going to say, okay, what in me created that situation either now or in prior lives, other lives. And then you say, okay, whatever in me created this. And that's why I'm seeing it. This is why I'm triggered by it. I'm going to clear it. I'm going to say either do the things, right? Your thing. What is that? I love to tap into ancient Hawaiian um, clearing technique, especially for this forgiveness. You say the four phrases, you start to feel it, you start to act it, you be this sacred reverent practice of clearing out the crap, the situation, the people, a lot of people, it's very peopley out today, and you can say those phrases, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you, I'm sorry for whatever in me created this situation, please forgive me, cleanse and clear it, and it's all forgiveness is always about forgiving yourself, right, most, mostly and you're releasing that connection and i love you highest vibration out there send love align with love anyway send love to that situation and then thank you gratitude powerful you're thanking it it's occurring it's happening but you work through those energies and frequencies and vibrations of that and i have a few ho'oponopono uh journeys on my youtube channel if it interests you so process that start your forgiveness do the work don't ignore it. It will get buried and cause more havoc uh, either on your physical body and with that lesson, it'll be in your face. This card came up last week. 57 reduces to 12, which is three in numerology, right? And that's the trifecta that's bringing it in. And this one is just reminding us of what came up before. Un unmarked trail, revelation. This is telling you to get off that fucking path and stop doing the same. Especially if you're in, in the same pattern over and over and over again. Then you have to say, all right, I'm done. And this is what I did with relationships. I had received so many relationship patterns that are insane that I just said, oh, <laughs> Okay, now I need to clear this out and tell the universe, no more of that. I've learned my lesson. Thank you. But you're getting off the path also for your own creativity, for your own enjoyment, for your own path. Uh, carve it out the way you like it. You might want to do something different than how the mainstream or how other people have done it. And the way you're going to do it is pretty freaking awesome. And it's also needed. So do the thing. But get off that path, that same path, and try to carve out something new for yourself. And you're more free as you've been able to do this work, right? And then and 
five O, which is five, again with the transformation, change energy. And Libra Sun is winds of change coming in, right? That's the element of air, and we're in autumn, which is the element of water. So the winds of change with Libra, it's bringing that energy in, but Libra is also about balance and about bringing fairness to the right, to, to the, to rights. Is that the way you say it? But bringing in the energy of equality and balance. So they are also people pleasers, all those, all the fun things on the Libra rising. Um, but they want to make sure that everyone's fair and they tend to be more Switzerland so that, you know, they're in neutrality and they see, I want to make that person happy and that person happy. Let's see if we can get them to not fight and start to talk and heal, you know, all the things. So that's the energies coming in with Libra and here, right? Water, spirit of the river, movement towards adventure. So please tell me you're going to move towards adventure by stepping off that path, by forgiving, by allowing yourself to feel and this is a little blurry. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but it's, it's telling you to go with the flow and when in doubt, close your mouth for a moment, think about what you're going to say <laughs> and then try not to be as harsh. I know I've, I, I'm an Aries, so it's kind of like right now for communication, um, Aries people tend to be very blunt. Um, they don't always know, um, to say all the many words that don't mean anything to get to that one inkling of truth and of the point. They just want to go straight to the freaking point. We're going to go to the end of the book and find out the ending kind of thing. So we got a little impatience in there. That's the Aries fire. But it seems like communication is happening on that level right now, aimed at us and from us. So be careful when you're communicating with people because it's coming out harsher. These truths need to be expressed in the ring of fire saying, it's happening. It's happening now. You're going to see what you need to see and release what you need to release. Now, the next card that came in, from the new, the other deck, the Lemurian Star Child Oracle is Way of Pearls. It's a two card. So it's balance again. It's um, seeing both sides of the coin. It's the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. It's the sun. It's the moon. It's all of that coming together. And this is liminal space, new energies, trust of growth, uh, time of growth, trust rather. Um, so Liminal space comes up. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. There's dolphins in that one. I just noticed that there are dolphins too. And dolphins are joy and they want you to tap into your joy even when you're going through this shit. And we don't need to, and I, I have to listen to myself here. We don't need to constantly mull over in our brain what happened and and maybe it was something we did that was off and we need to heal that and forgive ourselves. Maybe it's something someone else did and like you're still flabbergasted at the fact that they can't see it or they're pretending to you that they can't see what they did to you. And then you're like, you know what? No, nope. putting up my proper boundaries right now and saying no to the universe. I see what you did. I called you out on it. Bye. That's what you're going to say to that. But then you're going to say, okay, I need to smidge, smudge, get some sage, <laughs> get, get into the shower, whatever. It, that will clear you out. High winds will clear you out. The sun will help clear you. Burn that sage. The earth will turn everything into fertilizer. Get out there and transmute that shit so you can step into your joy. And step into your joy anyway so that it can help with transmuting, like I mentioned, with dancing and connecting in that way. This is the liminal space we're in right now. We're hitting that eclipse portal, so please, right? Liminal space is this powerful in-between of not day, not night. It's when we are outside of time and space and we're in this moment of listening stepping out and saying, okay, I see what happened. It's not good. It's not bad. It just is. It's just energy and how it came out. So it's about us transmuting that shit saying, okay, I see what it is. And I'm going to start to heal in that liminal space and then work towards joy and lift, uh, lift us ourselves, ourselves up, send love to yourself, send love to others. You're deserving. We all are. And so let's go into the next card. Eight, as above, so below. We create our reality. So take that infinity symbol, right? And and you're seeing it just like the magician in, in uh, tarot. Now, again, trust. Again, 
joy on this card, the second card. So this is our theme. We need to trust our gut feelings. Those people gaslighting us and manipulating us are taking advantage of the fact that like I will forgive people and give them a second chance. And then once I've written them off, usually done, all set. But it takes me a bit because I know people can change and I know that we're here to learn and and send love to a situation. So I'll do my best. But there are people who are going to take advantage of you and they're going to try to pass those boundaries and like wear you down. And you're going to be like, you know what? No, I'm going to trust my intuition. My heart is telling me this and it's true. Whether you're going to let me know that it's true or not, I know it's true. Believe in yourself. Joy of life is this card. So here, right, and the little words say trust, open hand, open your hands, share, let go. So allow yourself to send the crap up to the universe of transmutation, right? Allow yourself to receive the magic and then share, share, give and receive, give and receive. That's how you stay in the flow with abundance and all good things. Give, but don't give too much. Healers tend to give too much <laughs> and just, right, nurses and all those good, you might be giving too much. So remember, be mindful of your energy. You'll feel a tug at your solar plexus, the diaphragm area. So be mindful when you give too much and say, okay, I've learned my lesson. It was expensive, but now I'm going to, I'm not going to put up with that anymore. And I'm going to move forward and be in joy. I'm going to trust and I'm going to be in joy. I'm going to step into the flow of abundance of the universe. I'm going to allow myself to receive help when I need it and to give it, to share the abundance I have and then to receive it. Final card, dolphin again. Number nine card. It's a completion <laughs> number, which is fun that it's the last card um, for today. So it says, dolphins, get out on the water, enjoy, do it in your bathtub. If you can go with swim with the dolphins right now, do it. Uh, but it's play. It's okay to relax. Smile again. Share your flow. So share your love, share your light, share what's coming to you. So we all come to a certain kind of wisdom and um, then we are still being led and guided by others who are in an e even more wise on whatever area we need to learn. But we've come to a certain wisdom, so we become the teacher and we share that guidance. Whether you are an officially in a teacher, a teacher capacity, like a spiritual teacher or a teacher in school, whatever, you are a teacher to those around you. And you might be the head of the family, head of the household, and you're teaching, and they're just learning by example. So share your flow. And then it just keeps coming back to you. I see a lot of really good things coming in, really good things coming in. So it's just getting through this this next, you know, the rest of this month. It's a tough month for people Um there's a lot of energies going on the shadow season. The holidays are coming up and a lot of people are stressed out. Um, there's a reason why October tends to be the highest suicide month. So we have to be mindful of our feelings. Trust when we need to rest. Trust when we need to jump for joy. And trust when we need to say, I'm not going to put up with that anymore because I'm living this life to the fullest of my capacity. And I'm going to see if I did something wrong, I'm going to course correct and I'm going to become the better version of myself as I, you know, go through this life and keep doing that. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Um, and smudge away. If you have questions, of course, let me know. And of course, go to my website if you want more clarity on deeper issues for yourself. Um, it's maggiesbliss.com. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your Friday. Happy Friday, TGIF. Amazing weekend. And, and we'll be embracing the Ring of Fire next week. And it's also a new moon in Libra for the Ring of Fire. So it's going to be double Libra energies that's just hitting us. So the energies are building. So take it easy. And remember to rest. Get in your joy. Process. Breathe. And know that everything is working out in divine, right divine timing, right divine experience for you. Blessed be in Renee.